Hello everybody, my name is James, hope you're all doing well, and welcome back to another video. So let's start with Lewis Hamilton, who's claimed that several other cars may have breached technical regulations and therefore were illegal after the United States Grand Prix. As we know, Hamilton was disqualified from the race due to excessive plank wear beyond the tolerated 1mm allowance. Now given the track was so bumpy and teams only had one practice session to sort their cars out, this has been acknowledged by Mercedes as an understandable mistake. It was picked up in the random checks the FIA performs to ensure legality with the regulations, which saw Charles Leclerc also get disqualified as well due to the same reasons as Hamilton. But Hamilton believes that there were more than two cars that should have been disqualified from the results. He said, I've heard from several different sources that there were a lot of other cars that were also illegal, but they weren't tested, so they got away with it. I've been racing here 16 years. There's been times where there's been many other scenarios like this where some people got away with certain things and some people have just been unlucky that they got tested. As a result, Hamilton feels there needs to be some sort of better structure in terms of making sure it's fair and even across the board. And I do feel things can be done better. Like I know it's a random check, but if 50% of a sample are failing, I feel it would be worth having a look at other teams to see if it's occurring and if so, why? Because teams are never going to make this mistake on purpose. And following the Grand Prix, Max Verstappen has also called on the FIA to tweak its scrutineering process. He said, You can't check every car for every single part, otherwise we need a hundred more people to do these kinds of things. But I think the only thing is that if you check one car, and it's illegal, you should check the other one as well. Now on another note, it appears there were multiple track limit breaches at the US Grand Prix that went unnoticed. For example, New footage appears to show Sergio Perez repeatedly driving to the right of the white line boundary at turn 6, but nothing came of it. And it's been reported that the CCTV camera was not angled correctly, meaning footage was not available to the stewards. And the FIA said, During the post-race analysis, it was found that several drivers may have exceeded the track limit on the inside of turn 6, in line with the stewards' decisions in relation to an alleged rule breach on the inside of the corner, which stated that the evidence available is insufficient to accurately and consistently infer infringements. The FIA will update the monitoring infrastructure to ensure better coverage so that possible infringements can be reliably detected during the race in the future. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video from me today. Thank you ever so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos and until the next one, take care.